Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick by which we can solve any sinusoidal state analysis based on very fastly, very easily. Okay, so before we jump to the sum, first let us see how to judge whether our sum is for sinusoidal state analysis or not. Okay, so for that you have to check your input. Okay, if your input is in the form of sinusoidal, then it means that this sum is for sinusoidal state analysis. Okay. So now we know how to judge whether our sum is for sinusoidal state analysis or not. Okay. So now let's jump to the sum. This sum is from EC 2004 and the question says that the circuit shown in the figure with R is equals to 1 by 3 ohm, L is equals to 1 by 4 Henry, C is equals to 3 farad, has input voltage V of T is equals to sin 2T. And we have to calculate the resulting current I of T. Basically we have to get R I of T and v of t is present here okay if you see the question carefully here you have v of t is equals to sin 2t which means our input is in the form of sinusoidal okay that means that we have to do the sinusoidal state analysis here okay and these are the options from which we have to get the correct one okay so let's see the trick the trick says that you have to follow these three steps okay so the first step says that you have to keep input and output as it is okay so it is saying that if your input is in the form of sinusoidal keep as it is okay you are not required to do anything with your input as well as your output okay now the second step says that you have to change all other element basically element apart from your input and output to its laplace domain and then get the reactance form okay so basically you have to convert all other element apart from your input and output into its laplace domain then you have to get the reactance from that okay to get the reactance you have to just substitute s to j omega okay and then you will get the reactance okay and last step is that you have to solve it considering your basic network sum okay once your network is converted into reactance then just you have to consider that as your basic network and solve it okay so now let's apply this trick to get our answer very fastly okay so this is a circuit first step says that we have to keep input and output as it is okay we have to calculate i of t and v of t was given so we will keep i of t and v of t as it is okay basically we have not touched input and output okay now the second step says that you we have to change all other element apart from our input and output to its laplace domain okay so if we convert r to laplace domain it will be r itself if we convert l to laplace domain it will be s l and then if we convert c to laplace domain it will be 1 by s c okay here in the question l is given as 1 by 4 so it will be 1 by 4 s s c is given as 3 farad so it will be 1 upon 3 s okay now once you have converted into laplace then you have to get your reactance and to get reactance we will just substitute s to j omega okay now once we have converted to reactance then just we have to simply solve the circuit considering it as basic network okay now in the question we have to get i of t okay to get this i of t we are going to apply node at this point okay if you apply node at this point we will have minus i of t plus v of t by r plus v of t by sl plus v of t upon 1 upon sc okay so this is what i have written here okay since i have already told you you have to get your reactance form once you have converted to laplace domain okay since in this circuit i have not done that but i recommend you to do that okay so here if you simplify this equation we will have i of t equals to v of t in bracket 1 upon r plus 4 by s plus 3 s okay here you can see here i have not converted s to j omega and i am doing that in the third step okay so you can see i am wasting one step here okay instead of doing this we will get the reactance form in the circuit itself okay so if we put s equals to j omega we will get i of t is equals to v of t 1 upon r this s will be substituted with j omega so it will be 4 upon j omega plus 3 j omega okay so this is our first equation okay now from the input you can see that we have an input of v of t is equals to sin 2t okay if you compare this with sin omega t you will get to know that your omega is equals to 2 okay so you have to simply substitute your omega equals to 2 okay so if you substitute that you will get 3 plus 4 by j2 plus 3j into 2 okay now you have your iot is equals to sin 2t 3 minus 2j here you can see if we take j 
into the numerator we will get minus 4j by 2 okay so it will be minus 2j then here we will have 3j into 2 is equals to 6j okay if we simplify it we will get sin 2t multiply by 3 plus 4j okay note one thing here i am not doing anything with the input okay i am keeping as it is okay so once you have arrived on this step where you have your complex number with your in now just you have to get the magnitude as well as angle of your complex number okay if you calculate the magnitude of this complex number it will be under root of 3 ka square plus 4 ka square basically a real part ka square plus imaginary part ka square it will be 9 plus 16 it will be under root of 25 which is 5 okay so this is our magnitude and then if you calculate the angle it will be 10 inverse of imaginary by real okay so it will be 10 inverse by 4 by 3 where we know that 10 inverse of 4 by 3 is 53.13 you can calculate this in the calculator itself okay so you have to multiply your magnitude with your input ka magnitude okay so 5 into 1 it will be 5 itself and angle you have to add with omega t okay so our answer will be 5 sine 2t plus 53.13 degree okay so here you can see this is our magnitude and this is the angle okay so you have to just multiply the magnitude with the input magnitude and add your angle with the input omega t okay so this is our final answer okay and if you check from the option you can clearly say this a option is the correct one okay so in this sum what we have done we have followed all three steps we have kept input and output as it is we have changed all the other elements into its Laplace domain then we have taken the reactance form okay once the circuit is in the form of reactant then we have just consider that circuit as our basic network and we have used our simple KCL KVL to get our answer okay so this is the correct answer okay now let us see the second sum this second sum says that in the rlc circuit shown in the figure the input voltage v of t is given by okay so here there is a twist v i t is now having a two input okay which is two cos 200 t plus four sine 500 t okay and we have to get the output voltage v of t okay so this is our input this is our output which we have to calculate okay and this is the option okay in this sum only we will get to know the importance of converting into the reactance form in the circuit itself okay so as we have decided we are going to follow that three step okay but before that you have to see this here we have two input okay you can see that here we have two omega okay so we have two different ac input voltage okay which is 2 cos 200 t with the omega equals to 200 and 4 sin 500 t with the omega is equals to 500 okay so to solve this type of sum you have to use superposition theorem okay so you have to consider one input source at a time okay so now let us consider that 2 cos 200 t is active okay so basically our omega is 200 for now okay so as we have already decided we will keep vit vot as it is okay we are going to change only the other elements such as r l c okay so r will be as it is we have to convert l and c okay let's say this is l1 then let's say this is c1 this is l2 and this is c2 okay so we have to convert into laplace domain okay so this l will be converted into sl this c will be converted into 1 by sc okay and then we have to get the reactance okay for inductor the reactance is xl for capacitance the reactance is xc okay as we convert l to sl it will be sl then we have to substitute our s to j omega so it will be j omega l okay so this is our xl okay xl is basically omega l okay now if we convert c to a plus domain it will be one upon sc if we substitute s to j omega it will be one upon j omega c and apart from this j whatever thing is it is your xc okay so xc is 1 upon omega c okay so now if we get the reactance of inductor and capacitance we will get reactance of inductor 1 it will be xl1 which will be omega l1 omega is 200 so it will be 200 into l1 value is 0 0.25 which is 1 by 4 so it will be 50 okay similarly if we calculate xc1 it will be 1 upon omega c1 which is equal to 1 upon 200 into 100 into 10 raise to minus 6 okay so if we simplify it if we will get 10 raise to 6 upon 200 into 100 so it will be 10 square upon 2 okay so it will be 50 okay so we get our xl1 we get our xc1 okay now let us find the reactance of xl2 and xc2 okay so xl2 will be omega into l2 
so it will be 200 into 4 by 10 so it is 80 x c2 will be 1 upon omega c2 1 upon 200 c2 value is 10 microfarad okay so it will be 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 which will be 10 ka cube upon 2 so it will be 500 okay so we have successfully got the reactants of all inductor as well as capacitor okay now let's see the magic okay so once you have get all this reactants okay, you have to just substitute that into a circuit okay so here you can see this is your modified circuit where your sl is converted into j omega l which is j into xl okay so it will be j into 50 and similarly your capacitor will be minus j 50 as you can see here you have one upon j so it will be minus j xc okay so here you have minus j50 and then this resistor will be as it is here you will have j80 here you will have minus j500 okay so if you observe this circuit carefully here we have j50 minus j50 okay since this is in the form of reactance we can add up directly so it will be j50 minus j50 it will be 0 ohm okay so 0 ohm it means that short circuit okay and since here this 2 ohm and this short circuit is in parallel so 2 ohm multiplied by 0 upon 2 ohm plus 0 it will be 0 itself okay so basically this whole reactance is converted into short circuit path okay if you see this modified circuit carefully here you have VIOT then you have a short circuit path then you have this branch and then you have your output voltage VOT so from this we can say that this VOT will be equals to VIT since it is directly connected okay so for this it will be VOT is equals to VIT 2 cos 200 T okay so even if you calculate this thing you can get your option as you can see only b option satisfies that you have your output as 2 cos 200 t okay so even if you calculate this first thing you can get your answer but let us see the other part also okay so the other part is you have to deactivate this input and you have to activate this okay so if we can activate this so here for this we will get our omega as 500 okay so similar thing we are going to do now okay first we are going to convert to laptop last domain then we will get the reactance okay so reactance will be xl1 which will be omega l1 omega is 500 here l1 is 1 upon 4 it will be 125 okay similarly xc1 will be 1 upon omega c1 which will be 20 okay xl2 will be omega l2 which will be 200 xc2 will be 1 upon omega c2 which will be 200 okay now if you put substitute all this value into the circuit you will get j125 minus j20 2 ohm j200 minus j200 and then this is your r which is 2 ohm okay now if you observe this circuit carefully here you have j200 in parallel with minus j200 if you calculate the parallel equivalent of this it will be j200 parallel with minus j200 it will be j200 multiply by minus j200 upon j200 minus j200 okay so this will be zero okay anything by zero it will be infinite okay and infinite ohm it means that this part is open circuited okay so our modified circuit will be somewhat like this okay this is our z1 basically this is our one reactant then we have our open path then we have this r okay so here you can see we don't have any closed paths it means that your current will be zero okay so whatever your input is your output will be same okay so vot will be vit itself which will be is equals to 4 sin 500 t okay so if you see the option we have our output voltage vot as 2 cos 200 t plus 4 sin 500 t is similar to the input okay so our output voltage is equals to input voltage okay so this was the second sum so from this second sum we have learned that we have to do all the conversion into the circuit itself okay we will convert to laplace domain we will find out the reactance value then we will substitute the reactance value in the circuit itself and after that only we are going to start solving okay so this will make our simplification more easier and we will get the answer very fastly okay so we have seen the sum where we have one omega where we have two omega okay but if in case we have a dc source along with the ac source then what we have to do okay so then also we have to use spt okay but to get the steady state value when dc source is present then you have to get your i infinity or v infinity okay let's say this is a circuit when your dc source is active and you have to get your vct okay so to get vct we are going to use the t equals to infinite period for this is also okay so if we use t equals to infinite period it means that we have to open circuit the capacitor and short circuit the inductor okay so it will be 5 these are 
and here we have open circuited r capacitor okay we have to get this vc infinite okay so from this circuit you can see that your vc infinite will be simply 5 volt okay so you get your vc infinite as 5 volt and your ic infinite is 0 ampere and note this thing this is your steady state value okay so you have completed your dc part then you have to go for your ac part okay so you have seen for 1 omega for 2 omega for dc source with ac source okay so that's it for today. Thank you guys.